This is Geometry Chapter 3, 5, Parallel Lines and Triangles. So we have these three new rules that we need to know. You have Postulate 3, 2, which is the parallel postulate. So through any point, well, let me not read those. They're in front of you. I'll show them to you one by one. So here we go. Now, through a point not on a line, so here's a line, and this is a point that's not on that line, there is only one line that is parallel to the first line. And notice the notation, you have the little arrow right there and a little arrowhead right there showing that this line is parallel to that line. And theorem 311 is the triangle uh, angle sum theorem and it simply says is that all three of these interior angles are going to sum to 180 degrees. Okay? And let's apply that. So this would indicate here this right angle here is that that's 90 degrees and then that would mean that 90 degrees plus 10x plus 20 is equal to 180 and then you combine like terms and then we're subtracting the 110 from both sides and then we're dividing by 10 and see x is 7 so you know finding out the value of x it's 7 if you want to find the value of this missing angle well then you'd say 10 times the 7 and then you get 70 degrees or you would take 180 and subtract the 90 and the 20 and get the same answer. Good. Okay, now we've got some more algebra in there. All three of these expressions have to add to 180. Why? Because the sum of the interior angles of a triangle sum to 180. So look, there's your 85, there's your 4x plus 1, there's your 4x plus 6, and here I am combining like terms and solving for x and getting 11 degrees, uh, 11. And then if you want to know the measure of this specific angle, then you substitute the 11. See, I have here written 4x plus 1. There's that expression, such that x is equal to 11. So you substitute the 11 in for the x, and you get 45 degrees. And then the remaining angle you know, has to be 50, because you know, if this is 85 and that's 45, they have to add up to 180. So there's your 50. OK, and besides. This is 5 greater than that. Just add 5 to that answer. There's your 50. Okay. Tra theorem 3-12, the triangle exterior angle theorem. Um, the measure of the exterior angle, this angle right here. Here, you only, let me put that in a highlighter. So this angle right here that I'm highlighting in yellow is equal to those two added, these two remote interiors. Not the interior that's next to it remote away from that exterior angle. These two added together is equal to this. Let's test that out. Um, these two add up to 135. So I'm going to drag and put this 135 right there. Well, th this is a linear pair. So that means that this missing angle right here has to be 45 degrees to add up to 180. Well then now look, these three things add up, these three interior angles add up to 180. So therefore, it makes sense that these two remote interiors have to add up to 135 to be this this exterior angle. Okay, let's see what we got next. Oh, okay, so now we're doing some algebra. So look, this leak is in a different orientation, but still, you have an exterior angle, and then look across, not the angle that's right next to it, but look across and say that these two remote interiors added together is going to sum to this 117 degrees. So then I wrote the expression. Look, I've got those two expressions is added together is 117. Combine like terms, add the 3 to both sides, and then divide by 12. You have x is 10. And then once you've established that x is 10, you can substitute that value into both of these expressions to find the values of the missing angles. So, you know, there you go. This one here is 64. I should write that. That's a, so this is 64 degrees. Nice handwriting. Okay, and this one over here, I can't duplicate that color, not easily. So then that's going to be 53. And this would be 63. Whoops, I already had that written down here. I can just drag that and put that there. Bam. Because these three sum to 180, or you can say this is a linear pair and those sum to 180. We're good? We're good. Next one. No, that's it. Boy, that was a short lesson. Thank you for watching it.